Um, I'm a paralegal, and I feel like the first gentleman felt, I don't want to be there in the corporate environment. Mm-hmm. Um, all of my life I've had difficulty holding jobs because I have this freedom-seeking quality <laughs> that is <laughs> pulsing from the very... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But when you discover your freedom to choose the disc and the leverage that it provides you, you won't be too picky about where you're standing because you will understand you can control each and every environment in which you participate. Okay. It's your lack of freedom that you assign yourself because of your lack of control which you just haven't practiced and it's because you and almost everybody else you know has been approaching life after the manifestation instead of before in other words most people spend most of their time looking at piles of manifestation and evaluating them <laughs> okay and in the evaluation process you choose all kinds of discs that you don't want where if you could get out ahead of the manifestation that's what we're talking about here pick a disc pick a vibration pre manifestation today this is the disc I'm on because I said so <laughs> and because I've practiced it and so it's easy for me to mean it and stay there and now let's just see what manifestations will ensue as a result of selecting this and the first day you might make it through breakfast <laughs> maybe not that far but after you go for it the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day before you know it, you'll have some pretty good momentum going and then to watch what happens as a result of deliberately choosing your core grid your vibrational stance your point of attraction I'm picking a disc and watching what happens so it's freedom that I'm after freedom is what you've got you're so free you can choose any disc but I just don't know it you're free to choose any disc but momentum makes you not know you're free people say Abraham doesn't feel like I'm thinking my thoughts it feels like they're thinking me mm. well that's because you haven't been getting out ahead of it you're responding to what you're observing so you observe it and you offer a vibration you offer a vibration more comes which you observe which causes you to offer vibration which causes more to come which you observe and so there's that momentum cycle but any of you can break out of it anytime you choose to you're free to choose we would like to make a very clear statement it's easier to exercise your freedom in the early stages of momentum and when you're in a an occupation where there has been long-standing pushing against yeah. there's some momentum going but it's not momentum that you can't override in other words in all fields in all endeavors in everything that you do there are layers of vibrational frequencies and if you'll just choose your frequency and then go to work choose your frequency and then go to work choose your frequency then write the letter choose your frequency and then choose your frequency and then you'll begin to notice everything that matters to you conforming to your frequency where most of you are picking a frequency without realizing it and then law of attraction is causing the conforming to that frequency and then you feel not free because you said I didn't choose this stuff and we say yes you did no I didn't yes you did no I didn't <laughs> well you chose it vibrationally well I don't want to hear that crap Abraham <laughs> I want to talk about vibration I want to talk about what's happening to me and we say what's happening to you is because of the vibration that you're choosing how do I know we say there's two ways you can tell what disc you're choosing there's two ways by how you feel when you choose it and by what manifests because you chose it so it requires a lot of consciousness requires some consciousness <laughs> <laughs> and self-discipline it requires some caring about how you feel we would use the word focus rather than discipline because discipline is like trying to hold back the momentum that I've already established so many people are using their effort and their discipline to overcome their sloppy choosing of discs and when you start deliberately choosing discs then you don't have to use effort and discipline to overcome what you've chosen vibrationally the universe just says here Esther's laughing the other day because she chose a disc that didn't feel that good and she actually heard the universe say oh you don't like that here's some more <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
There's lots more where that came from. <laughs> so it's choosing an attitude. Say again. Choosing an attitude. Yeah, caring about how you feel. That's a good way. I'm, I'm going to choose my mood. Hmm, what mood? It's first thing in the morning. What mood? I'm going to be sullen. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to be overwhelmed. <laughs> That's familiar. I'm going to be hateful. <laughs> no, not so much. Early on. They're your options. Hateful, overwhelmed, revengeful, fearful, hopeful, eager, enthusiastic, loving, appreciative, happy, high flying, low flying. In other words, you can use whatever words you know what they feel like. You get to choose, but you got to choose early. So you choose early. Ah! And then your kids wake up. Ah! <laughs> Go live with grandma. <laughs> but as you choose more and more, as you deliberately choose more and more, then it's just easier. You gain momentum on that. It just gets easier and easier and easier. Until in time, you've given so little airtime to those things that don't feel so good because you really only have. A handful of issues that are causing you to repetitively believe and now perhaps we should put it on the disclaimer that you sign that says that this will be videotaped and that your voice may be recorded and so forth you can't go back <laughs> once you know this stuff you'll never again feel any kind of emotion and not know that you've chosen some disc and then for a while you'll be standing by waiting for the manifestation of it and as the manifestation never betrays you because the law of attraction never gets squirrely on you it always gives you exactly back the frequency mm -hmm. that you're putting out right. in time you'll gain deliberate conscious joyous control of your vibrational output and when you do now you've got deliberate joyous conscious control of what comes back to you and people will be watching you and they'll say how is it that everything always works out for you and if you're very wise you'll say everything always works out for all of us it's always working out for us it's giving us exactly the disc that we are positioning ourselves on and practicing and you know that think about the people that you know you know them you could almost name the people that you know that you're up close to and you could identify the disc that they hang out on and the fact that you know them well means that you're on there with them <laughs> enough yeah thank yeah. you yeah yeah wait 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 everybody sit down except you that's standing yes come this way it's a little tricky We'll never say it's you unless you are on your feet. But if you all stand up, we'll be really mad at you. 